welcome back so last time I was over here in this screen like how to install Joomla so let's continue first of all the first uh, step is selecting the language so you can select your language from the list there are many languages like this has been localized to many languages available over here but what we will do now is we'll select English and then we'll click next so here it checks with the configuration of PHP uh, version and the web server like what are the its requirement and if it has been met or not so over here you can see that configuration.php is not writable and it's clearly written that you can still continue the installation so that like uh, the configuration content will be given to us provided by the system at the end of the installation process so that we can paste it to configuration.php in the folder and then we can have the entire system working so we need not do anything over here so let's click on next over here it's a GNU GPL license it says that you can copy distribute and modify and distribute the modified version so you are you are free to do anything with this software so we click on next over here we select the database type because this page basically do the part of configuring the database server so we select mysql the host name is localhost because we are installing it, it into the same machine user is generally root but you can have other user name as well and password for my system it was root so and you can give a database name for the Joomla to get installed so for now I'm using Joomla DB I click on next I have the FTP configuration so if you are using Windows operating system to install Joomla then you will not see this page it's not required at all but if you are using Linux then it's highly recommend you use this feature all the details about this feature are given over here so this is generally for file accessing with Joomla with the web server through uh, like say with the Joomla contents and the files within the parent directory Joomla so if you want to change anything or if you want to have it access from a remote computer then you can use it but for now I'm not gonna use it let's click on next we give the name over here let's say my portal over here we give our email address the password over here you can see that install default sample data so what it basically do is first of all the Joomla like the Joomla is installed with no content like uh, the database will be empty only the uh, tables will be created and all the structures of the database will be created but there will be no data so but it will be very hard to modify it as per our requirement if we don't have any data because we cannot see any changes going on so for our convenient we install the sample data to the system by clicking over here so now it's successfully installed let's go to next here you can see that the username is admin and the password is what 
we have provided earlier so we select here we copy this and then we go to a browser sudo gedit slash var slash www slash zuma configuration dot txt was the file where we need to write this copy this over here we paste it and then we save it so now the configuration file has been successfully kept in the folder Joomla so this is the overall installation of Joomla but over here if you see please remember to completely remove the installation directory so in order to before we proceed with the software like uh, before we see the space we need to remove it so what we do is sudo remove rm minus r So it's been removed. So now from here we can go to the site. Here you have your site. So this is your basic Zoomla website. So how you work with the website, how you do with the administration thing, I'll teach you in the next lecture. So over here, if you see here, you have the administrator. Just click over here. It will take you to the administration login page. From here you can configure your website. So see you on the next video. Bye.